Good morning, folks. Sorry I'm late. For the first time on the continent of Africa, an up-to-date soil atlas from the European Commission's Joint Research Center. Important agriculturally, socially, and politically. The map and article are linked for you below. Sticking in Africa with the most unusual tremor of the last day, not much shaking we get here ever, let's dive into the U.S. weather extremes, starting with major to record flood levels predicted officially. You can see we are at major stage well in advance of those predictions, but not one to channel 2011 without remembering 2012. There is also severe drought. Some expected to abate, others expected to spread or get worse. Latest drought look is linked for you as well. For further scope, let's check the U.S. record chart. Heat has certainly taken a back seat in the records department this year, especially as we enter spring, but not like those records are wholly absent, and let's not forget, precipitation has set more records than anything else. Quick update to the polar drift, the polar shift as many call it. Folks, we have a spot of great news. Now most have seen this or something like it tracking the movement of the magnetic pole as it indeed flies faster and faster towards Siberia, but it does not move in a straight line. It twirls. Its race across the Arctic likely looked a bit like this. So when we take a look at our current image, and folks, this has been indicated the last 90 days in the curve, and I didn't want to jump the gun, and I don't believe I'm doing so now. Since May of 2012, the magnetic North Pole has slowed its movement. It has not stopped. It's not going the other way. Still running away from Canada, but the polar wander speed has been highly variable on its ramp up to now, and this is simply another variation still racing tens of miles per year. Kicking it to space weather, where our fourth celestial north gamma burst in a row ripped out of the Leo constellation this morning. Cosmic rays, second panel from the top, neutrons elevating along with the muon density, but both within safe limits. Folks, the ACE solar wind telemetry is somewhat useless right now. They caught one fast moving particle and it jacked their dynamic scaling on the left to where the slight variation we're looking for is pretty much imperceptible. Luckily, SOHO keeps track via the University of Maryland. The hardest stream from yesterday has passed. The Aurora Electrojet here, since near peak of the level storm, it does indeed pulse like that, but you should be able to tell that the energy is waning now. Magnetic disturbance, fading nicely as well. Plasma still breaking through a bit, and although the geomagnetic storm was short-lived and over now, the stream is above average and inductions remain. No flaring of significance, but we did actually have an earth-facing eruption, but one that's kind of unlike any we've ever seen. Picture the Stretch Armstrong of plasma filament eruptions, only this one isn't exactly deserving of the strong part of that name. This is one of the largest and yet least powerful filament releases I have ever seen. You can see the ejecta leaving the sun here on the Soho Lasco C3. I know some appears to be hidden still behind the opaque disk, and I know if you jump to Stereo A, it will show lateral ejecta, indicating that some might be headed at Earth, but I believe that most of this will miss us ahead of our orbital path, and it would be very weak anyway. Taking a look at the sunspots, left side of the disk has all the fun. We've called this development here for two straight days, but the magnetics are still nicely divided with no danger. Up north, no real change in forecast. Big umbras, not yet interacting with one another. Could happen today. We also have a newcomer here on the south. Looking at the umbral fields, notice that the top left red opening closes up as the blue field itself bunches up directly facing Earth. This should be expected with the sunspot development on the southeastern quadrant and just south of center. We'll look for signs of change there as the Earth is set to pass between Saturn and the Sun here soon. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear, it's 7.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.